Welcome to today's tutorial how to make the bottle in cryopyrometry. Stick around with us as we uncover the step by step process to help you bring your engineering ideas to life. Let's get started. Go to file and select new. The part must be chosen. I am giving the name of the part water bottle. Uncheck the default template, then click OK. Here I am selecting the unit template in MM, then click OK. I opted for the top plane, initiated the sketch option, and then enter the sketch view. Now crafting a 34 millimeter diameter circle, then I clicked OK. Let me create you through the process of creating reference planes using different distance for plane offset. First click which plane you want to offset. Then click the plane feature. Now we see the window of datum plane pop up. Here we have to give the offset distance. Once given click OK. You will notice that the plane has now been successfully created. Now I am creating the sketch for the offset plane. The diameter of your circle is 27.5 millimeters. Once we do the sketch, click OK. After that, we have to create the three planes at various distances, except for the created plane. As I guided the process, you can follow step by step. Here I will tell the distance of the plane one by one. The second plane's distance from the starting plane is 70 millimeters. In the newly created plan, I plan to do the sketch project from the second plan. Initiated the sketch option and then entered the sketch view. Here I selected the project option. After choosing the loop and I am selecting the circle. Here you can see. This is the fourth plane. The offset distance is 189.2 millimeters. In the fourth plane, I am creating the sketch. The diameter of your circle is 87.5 millimeters. We have to do the last section of the plane. The distance from the starting plane is 310 millimeter. That plane itself, I am doing the sketch using the projection option. Here you can see the profiles. Now I click on the feature of shapes. Below we can see the option of blend. Click the blend option. Then click the sections and change the type to selected sections. Once we change the option, we have to select the profiles one by one. Once you clicked the profile, before clicking the other profile, you should have clicked the insert option. You can see here how I am selecting the profiles. Once completed, we have to select OK. Now the bottle is ready in the cryoparametric. Here we have to do one revolve and one revolve cut. We started the revolve in the front plane with the diameter of 34 mm and height of 12 mm. Once you completed the sketch, click OK. Go to the model and select the revolve feature. Click on the center line. Now the revolved option is created. We have to give a radius here. So I selected the round feature, set the radius at 4 mm and select the edges where and all we want to give, that's all. I forgot to create the revolve cut. As before with the revolve feature, same step we have to use. I selected the front plane and created the sketch as shown here. Once you will be completed the sketch, click OK. After I selected the revolve feature, 
and optimize it with the center line change the removed material we have to give a radius of 4 mm for the bottom of a bottle the neck radius is 3 mm at the top of the bottle then click ok now we have to make the hollow for the bottle so i choose the option to do with shell it is an easy method once clicked on the cell feature click the reference select the face on which we want to make the hollow and here i am giving the cell a thickness of 2.6 millimeter then click ok the bottle is ready now here i am making the appearance the bottle color is green this is the easiest method to create a plastic or glass bottle through the cryopyrometric i hope this video was useful for you leave a comment if you want a specific video in the future thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos